beautiful day today here in California. It's going to be in the 70s easily. Storm is approaching. That means more rain. That's very good. I came on here to give tribute or say hello or whatever I am saying about Ray Taliaferro, who used to do a radio talk show here in the middle of the night in the California Bay Area, U.S. In fact, Ray Taliaferro was probably one of the people that took people that didn't know where they stand and brought them over to, to the progressive left when he was doing his radio shows on AM. Let's go over the board and look at some more stuff about Ray Taliaferro, one of the legends on the left. So what did happen to Ray Taliaferro? Well, apparently him and his new wife were in Kentucky looking at some property that they inherited. And then Ray Taliaferro suddenly left the property while she was wandering around got in their car and apparently drove to a bank. From that point on, no one knows what happens. They're saying that he probably has some dementia. Now, he completely left the scene after he was let go on KGO when they switched formats. Now, we know that Ray Taliaferro had a son that died, and this really uh, took a toll on him. When I used to listen to Ray, we used to record him because I wouldn't stay up at night to hear him and then you could uh, race through all the ads but the ads kept getting worse and worse and more and more until I just gave up on him because he didn't have enough time to ever even finish a thought let alone take any phone call and I think that's when talk radio sort of died because there were more ads than there was talk show and so it wasn't that talking to each other on a radio show went out of style it's that the ads drove people away Ray Taliaferro changed my life, listening to him year after year with his open-mindedness and his fairness. He was pretty rough on callers at the time and was moody. In the later years, they said that he probably started getting dementia. He uh, moved away from the city. He lived somewhat, um, I guess some of the time he moved to the North Bay of Marin, and now he's in Kentucky. How does a progressive end up in extreme right-wing not too far from, from some of the most reddest parts of our U.S. political scene. You know, back then I was working, doing mostly house painting, painting buildings inside and out. I just listened on the headphones with a uh, cassette while I worked listening to Ray and uh, Bernie's, uh, Bernie Ward and other people on the left who I would record. And then I could just listen to it while I was working. Some mundane, blah, inside all white, no trim, just bleh, looking at white walls all day. I would be listening and, and learning about the left and the progressive movement. And that's why I call myself a progressive. I don't particularly turn away from any other groups other than hate groups. I feel that the progressive movement means that we're all included. Every human on the planet and every human gives to other humans instead of demanding from their for themselves glory and money and wealth and showing it and thinking that that really counts for him. Ray wasn't one of those people. He was uh, very generous and I'll certainly, uh, I've been missing him all along these years, but the end ends up that he's missing for 10 days or 11 days now. They don't know what happened to him. It's a terrible ending if that's the way it ends up. I sure hope not. If you'd like to talk about Ray Taliaferro, and the people on the left who used to be on the uh, AM dial around the U.S. What's your memories like? I certainly appreciate your last uh, comments on the last video. They were very good. The ups and the downs. And I look forward to your comments on this video. And until next time, I hope this, this is not goodbye, Ray, but just where you been.